Hello, Buzzacals! Welcome back to the second episode of this new Oxygen Not Included series, where we will focus on the key points. So let's have a short recap of what happened since last time. We do have a kind of smallish mealwood farm that should supply our three duplicates that we have. We also have some beds now and over here I put in a um, temporary solution to produce oxygen with an electrolyzer. Uh, looking at the oxygen levels up here it's okay but further down um, not so good um, that's probably something we want to work on today um, research is is going well I, I would say let's let's have a look it's reasonably fast uh, we have covered almost all the ones that only require the, the basic research and down here uh, I get my hands on a bit of rust and a bit of salt and I did look into the um, that was the wrong button uh, into the rust deoxidizer which requires rust requires salt and requires power and produces oxygen chlorine gas iron ore and heat um, so that one produces 750 grams per second oxygen this one 750 so same amount and the way we had in previous series our electrolyzer set up uh, was that we uh, we had uh, two electrolyzers and that basically was good um, to cover the, the whole base so we have to figure out what to do with the chlorine gas and if we look here because we also need salt and the salt plant that requires chlorine gas um, also requires sand uh, probably only if uh, if in a in a farm plot so if we would have say um, a room where they grow naturally they would not produce that much salt but we would not need to feed uh, any any sand and Another thing that we see here is we have our first um, volcano or geyser. Let's let's find out what it actually is. It's a leaky oil fissure. Not particularly useful. We will probably not dig that out. Then over here we have a pool of ethanol as well as over here and we can use that for our power production. If we look at temperatures level we can see down here we are a bit colder and maybe we need to, to cool down the uh, the air that we are producing so let's figure figure that that one out um, 
and let's do that just here on the side so the thing is that chlorine goes down and oxygen goes up so i am wondering can we do something like this no that probably does not work um i was thinking um along the same lines um that we did the uh the electrolyzer setup where we had the oxygen pumps down and the one hydrogen pump uh, above but of course um with there we are producing uh less oxygen than uh, hydrogen and we needed three pumps for um for the uh for the uh, oxygen to go out so let's try this setup with a solid block here we can have doors there and there Um, no, 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 no. Let's... I want something like this. And then that would mean doors there and there. because i am hoping we can supply um we can supply those here from the side and another thing we might consider is extending this bit to the side because eventually i'm hoping we uh we could uh fit in uh uh conveyor belt and uh, a supply mechanism so that the duplicates do not need to go in here but i think uh first iteration this should do and we need power for these and for those um, and what do we have power wise here Um, uh, that one needs petroleum or ethanol. So let's see. Um, elements, liquids, ethanol. Uh, we can get that out of wood 
with an ethanol distillery and we get polluted dirt and carbon dioxide so that's how we probably will then uh, end up uh, the the wood but i think for now Let's let's stick in here. And have the power generation over on this side. And then we will start this set up there um. one two three then we have that going there and here we have that part and we need leather going down both sides Dig that out. And have that one there. Now, the problem with this setup is this produces, I think, 200 watt of, uh, of power. And of course, this wire can only take 1000. So, maybe what we also want to have Um, then here is a way to get a bit of aluminium so we can have a better better wiring um, then here on this side we need a pump Let's make it this way. And the good thing is, even if this is producing 2000 watt, the wire can handle it as long as there are no more consumers than 200 watt on it. So that should do. Uh, then have those twos in there. Um, now let's see what would be good. This door, I would like to use that door. And then what else do we need? If we go uh, to shipping, uh, we would need that one. This battery would be good. And 
the conductive wire. Yeah. So I guess the duplicants will be occupied down here a bit. Uh, we have something new from here. We need one that can wrench. So let's take Stinky and hope we can cope with four duplicants in in our base. Um, also see that we have that port sorted. You get the better helmet. You as well. And then here, I will hold off. I don't want to max out the, the moral of my duplicates. But that will come in in good time. So down here we have something else. Is it also a leaky old fissure? It's a steam vent. This is good. Um, a renewable source of water. However, a hot source of water. So as long as we don't have a means to cool things down, that could be a bit problematic. Um, then we also need um, a bit of, of piping here. Uh, we can combine two uh, of the pumps um, uh, in in one pipe and then the other one has to have its own pipe uh, research is done so let's uh, do this one then and then we can actually place in this door there, this door there, um, there and there. And then, oh, that door is in the wrong spot, as is this one. Those ones are wrong too. So, to there. And let's try that with the door again. And. There. And then we need to dig out this as well. Now, maybe I'm thinking this whole thing could become filled with, with chlorine. So, if we then do a bit of a, of a liquid lock here, um, we could contain everything here on that side of things. And 
this one has uh, halted growth because of lack of chlorine. But that's something we want to try and, and fix. So let's just wait for the duplicants to do their job and then we will see how this whole thing comes out. My duplicants are almost done down here, but there are a few shortcomings. Um, and the not connected power is not one of them. But uh, with the petroleum generator, I overlooked that uh, this one generates polluted water. That's why we have a puddle down here and currently it's um, deactivated. On the plus side, this produces a bit of polluted air. So uh, whenever duplicants come down here, they have uh, a bit of nasty oxygen down here to breathe but uh this one we want to uh, also control uh, these pumps uh, only when we have sufficient gas pressure and then here on this side that goes into that whole cavity over here that we still need to break out and have a, a water lock system here so we can have chlorine here on this side but i think that will do for today and probably next time we will have to figure out uh, where to put the oxygen and uh, deal with a proper power setup until then goodbye